Hey there, in some recent videos, you saw me connect remotely to a Teams display running on the Logitech Tap Scheduler. Uh, now I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first of all, you need to make sure that your CollabOS device from Logitech is up to date. It needs to be on uh, 1.10, which went generally available last week. You also need to make sure that you've got local network access enabled. Otherwise, you have to do this on the device itself. And when I show you what you have to type in, you might reconsider and want to do this from local network access. So if you don't have ne uh, local network access enabled, I urge you to go and do that now. It's just a tick box. Uh, just make sure that you log in with the last six of the serial number uh, or change it to something that uh, is more secretive that sort of thing. So here we go, I've got local network access uh, enabled and I'm gonna log into the device. It's just HTTPS, the IP address of the, of the actual device itself. You log in with the username and password you've chosen and then log in. And this is, uh, in my case, it's a rally bar. You can see it's actually up to date, 1.10. What I wanna do is go through system, then remote management. You can see I've got LNA enabled, admin, and the password that I've chosen. And down here, you've got remote UI access. Control this device remotely using your GoToResolve account. Now, if you don't have a GoToResolve account, don't worry, in the next step, I'll show you how you can get one. So if I just tick this box, you can see I've got activate GoToResolve, provide your company ID and device key to activate you can find those credentials at console.gotoresolve.com slash pair. And then if you don't have a, a GoToResolve account, you can sign up with the Logitech affiliate link, goto.com slash logitech sign up to get your GoToResolve account. What you get is five free licenses or, or pro licenses for GoToResolve for uh, connecting to, vi to devices. So what you need to do is enter a company ID and a device key. What you do to get those uh, that information is to go to this uh, URL here, and I've actually got that up. You can see the company ID is quite a long string. The device key is even longer. So the best thing to do is to enable uh, LNA, and then you can just copy that, paste it in, copy and paste, then connect. And that's it. All you're doing is activating the GoToResolve application, which is already installed on the CollabOS device. What Logitech have done is basically embedded the GoToResolve uh, remote connection application into the CollabOS operating system, if you like, uh, and then um, allowed you to actually connect it to your own instance using company ID and the device code. You can see I've got remote access enabled, service providers go to resolve, company ID password. Uh, if I wanted to disconnect there, I can just go and log out. But what's the fun in that? So now uh, I can go to my go to resolve console and you can see, here's my go to resolve console. You can see I've got a few devices already in there in a specific group. And then this is the rally bar that I just added. What you need to do is verify so basically verifying that this bar is yours and you want to connect it to your tenant. So I'm just going to press verify. Device verification was successful. There you go. So now I've got this group and I've also got this device down here that is not in a group. Right, so if you want to add this to a group, you can just press the three dots, add to group. But what I want to do is just show you the remote control. So from here, you just hover over, you get a hover menu, and then press start remote control. Uh, what it does, is it starts a countdown, kind of 58 seconds. If you don't do anything, it will automatically connect to the device. You can obviously cancel and bomb out if you don't want to connect to it. But I'm just going to press connect now. So now on the primary display on the rally bar. And from here, because I've enabled the touch UI, I can get at um, you know, these buttons here. I can go ahead and start a meeting, for instance. Let's go ahead and do that. There you go, it's actually starting a meeting. Hi there. So what this basically means is you can easily remotely get at the device itself. If you need to troubleshoot something, if you need to test something or anything else, you don't have to be there in person to actually do that. As long as the device is connected to the internet and connected to your go to resolve tenant, it means you can actually get at the device. If I were to go and actually do device settings, for instance, if I hit settings on here, 
what it will do is it will actually just show me uh, go to the touch console. And that's because on this particular rally bar, I've got a tap IP connected to this rally bar. Uh, you actually have to use the tap IP in those instances to get at the actual device settings, the actual Collab OS device settings, and also, more crucially, the team's admin settings underneath. You can't actually do that from the, uh, the actual bar itself. If I were to connect this rally bar or disconnect the tap IP and use a tap a cat five from Logitech, that is effectively just a USB touchscreen controller connected to the rally bar. That means when I actually pair the rally bar with go to resolve, when I actually um, connect to the device, I won't see the front of room display. What I'll see is actually the touch console itself because that's what it allows me to do. And that's really what you want to get at. You want to get at these meat controls, but also you want to get out the device settings. So for instance, if I uh, go ahead and end this session just to show you, and then I'm going to choose the tap IP that's also connected to that same account. And then I'll start remote control. And then I go ahead, go ahead and connect now. There you go. I can see the actual touch console from this uh, device. And then, you know, of course, I can start a meeting, uh, I can join a meeting, I can share, I can test whiteboarding, but I can crucially also go into things like, you know, join with a meeting ID, I can give feedback if I need to, for instance, uh, and log a ticket. Uh, but I can also, as you can see here, I can get at the actual uh, device settings. So if I go in here, I can, I can actually reboot the device. So from here, I can just go ahead and press debug and then reboot. Um, that will actually boot, reboot the bar and also the touch controller. I can get at the about to see the IP address information. But here I can also then actually get at the device settings. And the great thing, because this tap IP is connected to the rally bar and just paired over the network, what I can do is I can get at the device settings, not just for the tap IP, as you can see here, but I can also get at the device settings for the rally bar itself. So if I wanted to go into the rally bar thing and then go into camera, for instance, what I can do is change between the different view modes. Um, I can enable disable right site, you know, those sort of things. Just gonna go back for now. And then because this has got a tap IP connected, if I wanna get at Teams admin settings, I go through system on the tap IP, get at Teams admin settings, and then I can go ahead and adjust you know, things like, you know, auto answer, just gonna enable a couple of things and then click back and go in general. I can go down here and um, enable and disable content sharing, include audio, those sort of things. I can go in meetings and tick all the boxes. I can also go in here and change the room camera, uh, check the settings and change things like the content camera. So in my case, I can choose the Logitech Scribe as the content camera and then click back. I can check the console pairing status or if I really, really needed to, if I wanted to do something, some other kind of troubleshooting or some, some other testing, I can actually sign out from Teams. And then I can go ahead and, you know, click back and go back to the actual thing. And as I said, I can start a meeting or join a scheduled meeting because I've got full remote control, just using the mouse, don't need to be there in person. And there you go, I've actually got the meeting UI, I can bring other people into it, maybe I can bring myself into it remotely, so I can have a meeting between this device and me at home. And then of course, I can get out the actual controls down here and that sort of thing. So there you go, that is remote control using Logitech's latest Collab OS update 1.10, which is out now, uh, available for Tap Scheduler, Rally Bar, Rally Bar Mini, Rally Bar Huddle, um, uh, Tap IP, basically any Collab OS device should have this uh, capability. The update for 1.10 came out last week. You should be able to update this through Sync if you've got that connected on the device itself, and it should be rolling out through uh, the Teams Admin Sensor uh, now or very, very shortly anyway. Maybe by the time you watch this, it will already be out. And that's it, thanks for watching. Uh, if you find this useful, please go ahead and like, subscribe, share with your friends, that sort of thing. If you have any questions, please feel free, free to reach out. And that's it, I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.